Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Mars Horizon. Hope you're having a great day today. Space Station Aid says telemedicine techniques developed for your modular space station have been used to treat survivors of an earthquake in an area inaccessible to emergency services. Hey, how about that? 300 support for that. And our centrifuge training is complete, which means tier three astronaut talents are unlocked. And unfortunately, that doesn't mean that our regular astronauts who are loyal and awesome and have been with us forever get better. It means we have to replace them with tier three people. But you know, we could just name this person instead of Karen. We could name her, you know, Jane Donato because she's a problem solver anyway. But then, but then it's like her retirement date and stuff is different and her picture looks different and everyone would know. Although maybe not. She's gotten a little older. Maybe she decided to go with shorter hair and she needs glasses now. And she got a really dark tan. I don't know. Probably not. Um, but looks like we have, yeah, so tier three astronauts. This is pretty good. They got some decent, uh, got some decent stuff. I'm looking for double time. Counts as two crew on a mission. That's pretty good. You know, that's really good, actually. And, uh, I think I'm going to get you Ezra Bear. But I'm only going to get you as soon as I need you, I think. I'm not going to get you right away. But those are cool. Those astronaut talents are cool. So that building's here. We're also getting uh, plus 3% support reward and science reward permission for missions. And then in addition to getting the uh, reliability bonus for plus 3% and plus 5% launch reliability because of the adjacency, the building itself, uh, I think, also improves it. Maybe it's just the adjacency bonuses that go with it. I don't know. But we're getting 8% on that. So that's pretty cool. All right. So funding review, we haven't really done a whole lot for support, I guess, this year. 1998 was a boring year, I guess. Only 900 support. I mean, I thought we landed a whole bunch of stuff on Mars, but I guess that was 1997. So I wasn't paying attention to the date, whatever. Apparently 90% is an average chance of success. Fair enough. Albatross. Albatross is going to be complete. It's our engine and habitat mission. We need this. Science mission training bonus is up. Look at that. Oh, and our launch reliability is down, huh? Well, don't worry, because our water suppression system is going to be ready next month, I think. So this is going to go up after that. So let's do the science training, because it's a huge bonus for it. Got to do that. And oh my gosh. Um, Hang on. So... Yeah. Uh, I guess we're going in May. That'll be a hefty bonus, I guess. Uh, not much science for this, though. It's really not that good. I'm, I'm tempted to just try a suboptimal date instead. It's a really expensive payload. Just wait till May. Sucks that I have to wait. Like, I have to wait a whole year for that. More than a year. For that that sucks no well, it is what it is water suppression system is going to be completed and this uh says it uses water to dampen the noise produced by engines at launch the vibrations of which could otherwise damage the vehicle improves launch reliability when placed next to a medium and large launch pad again i think that's just because of the adjacency bonuses i'm not sure the building itself does anything aside from adjacency bonuses so here we go power modules ready to launch in our shuttle, Empyrean's going back up to space. 81% on the payload, and we're going to get a whole lot of science for this, which is going to allow us to get Jupiter orbit, uh, I think, pretty quick. And right in time, I think it's, I think the timeline lines up to, like, three extra months or something to where we end up unlocking the Pluto flyby right before the Grand Tour gets to Pluto. So should be pretty good on that. Can't go any higher than 99 anyway, so conditions really don't matter. Let's go. Five. Space shuttle Empyrean making its, what is this, like its 20th launch? We have I feel like at this point, if, if this many launches, it probably would be decommissioned by now. Also, uh, another interesting note is that the space station has a decommission date. I noticed that when I was clicking around. I'll show you it later. The space station gets has a decommission date. 
does that mean it's just it I mean the word decommission does that mean it's like gonna be gone after I think it's May 2000 yeah oh, I like how these things have sounds I don't think they had sounds before did they I don't remember those having sounds before, but maybe it's just because I wasn't listening. All right. Uh, yeah, this is just the station stuff. You guys are, you know, have expressed uh, gratitude and uh, positivity towards skipping the puzzles on non-essential missions. So uh, I can keep you posted on my guess. This thing's going to reset to zero every single time. Only three turns. And then I have to hit 10 in the last turn. So I guess that means I have to hit this one twice. So, wowzers. I need to build up a lot of stuff. All right. Well, I'll see you guys when the puzzle's done. Wish me luck. The recharge power is two power, though. So, at least there's that. I'm going to... I think I'm going to have to hit this and this and then this. And then uh, probably this one. Yeah. We're going to be using a lot of power here. So, uh, and if I want to get to 32, 34, I need 34 of these that final turn and i'm not sure i have enough actions for that so i th i think what you have to do with this is um whoops i need to bump this to 30 now so forget this one we're going here just so i don't have to bump the other one. Oh wow that's that sucks okay yeah well done. GG. Oh my goodness. I'm not skipping this so you can see how ridiculous it is. <laughs> Come on, game. You jerk. I'm going to resist that one. I need some of those. I need some comms. All right. Yeah, give it back to me. That's actually one I needed. Okay, fine. Whatever. This game is confused. I mean, I might as well show you the whole puzzle now, right? I mean... <laughs> you're already tuned in. Whether you want it to be or not, you're already tuned in. See how that goes? You're welcome. Yeah, see, now we're getting up there. Pretty good. Next turn, though, we have to hit this twice, which is going to be t six of this. So I guess I hit this and then this twice. And that's 12 more. That's enough. Okay. And then we finish it off with this one. Yeah, that w what would work. That what 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 would work? I can speak, I swear. All right, we have one spare power, which doesn't bode well for me necessarily, but uh, because I need two power here, that sucks. Uh, we go one, two, three, and then I <laughs> need the freaking power. <laughs> no shouldn't have resisted. I really should not have resisted that one. Why do I always do this to myself? Hang on. What if we recharge? We recharge gets me two. So then I pump this one. Then this one twice. Oh, wait. Because the recharge takes an action. No! <laughs> Damn it. Why game? Well, maybe I'll get a bonus. I mean, I'm not going to get the bonus without getting one extra here anyway. But I have to pop this one. This is this is required. Yeah, I, I that recharge sucks. All right. Well, I'm one power short. I'm being able to do what I want to do. So it is what it is. Fine. Whatever. We could get away with this. We have 30 exact. Or lined up. I think we just spend the power and hope I get a bonus nav. It's kind of the only thing I could do. Good. Good for me. Everyone say, good for you. <laughs> just one bonus nav. That's all I ask. Is it too much to ask? Come on. Oh, fine. No bonus. Whatever. Uh, deploy module systems. Let's go. All right. So, once again, zeroing it out gonna have to produce 10 in the final turn which means i have to hit uh i have to hit these twice and then this one once great 
I don't like these. I really don't. I don't like the ones that make you move a huge amount on the last turn. And they require you to do it on the last turn. Not a fan. All right, I'm getting screwed. RNG is screwing me hard here. Uh, this 81% reliability on that last cycle there just failed three out of four times. It's uh, It drained all my power because I need the resources to, to get it. And I'm actually thinking that I won't get it anyway at this point. Um, because of that power loss, I can't hit this one. So I have to hit this one twice, which is going to cost me more comms than I'm comfortable with than using. Um, so that is a major issue. Uh, and then in order to get the rest of the comms, I'm going to have to do this. And now I'm just I'm just screwed out of that. So the, the cycle that was supposed to happen was this gets hit, and then this gets hit, and then this gets hit. That was supposed to take care of it. And then at the final the final turn here, I was going to hit this one, and then or sorry, I think it was this one. No, I'm pretty sure it was this one. Yeah, for two, because so I don't need that many. And then I was going to get three of each, which would pump me up for 20 here. But then it was going to require me to have more on this one. So the the the, the RNG on this was really bad. It was just really bad. Um, it cost me more power than I would like to have spent. This this one here would have been a nice one to hit to bump me over the top. But this extra action requiring the recharge is what's costing me this. Um, yeah, that, that extra action is going to screw me. It's very, un very unfortunate. Um, so there's no bonuses at all on this mission because of that. Um, 81%, there's three turns, and it failed 50% of the time, actually. And, like, I know I don't have to resist every one, but when it says it's going to cost you two nav if you don't resist it, I'm looking at this going, there's no way I'm getting the nav if I don't. And, um, yeah, it just, it just, it just bites. It just bites really hard. Uh, anyway, so, uh, we are going to go ahead, hit this. Then hit this one. Then we can hit this one. We have to. Uh, and then I have to hit this one as my final action. And now it's like you need four more of these. Which I can't have because I have to hit these three on the final turn to get to 10. It's zeroing it out every turn. It sucks. I don't like the ones where you they zero you out until the very end. I, I hate those. There's no planning to them. It's just like you almost have to throw darts at the wall and go, well, okay, in the final in the final turn, I'm going to be required to take 12 of these data units and I cannot spend them, you know? Yeah, oh well. I'm sure there's a better way to do it, but uh, with 50% RNG on this on a really good reliable craft, it, it didn't work. So in any case, unless I get some a huge miracle here with comms, and I, I won't. Um, We'll just have no bonus on this. Yeah, you're giving me the wrong thing. You're giving me the useless things. So. There we go. At least we get the objective, and that's the whole point. So. There you go. No additional science, but it's enough to where... Yeah, you guys are on the station for a while. It's enough to where we're going to get the Jupiter Orbiter now. And the Saturn Orbiter next phase is going to happen. And then Grand Tours in six months. So Jupiter Orbiter research completes. And that means that Pluto flyby gets completed. And that means that our Pluto flyby that's coming from the Grand Tour in five months will actually get credit for it now. So next mission phase is ready on Saturn. So we'll go and do that too. But the Gamma Ray Telescope also. Supplementary boosters add two upgrade points. Which is kind of useless because like I can't use all the points anyway. So whatever. Saturn, IV, B. Yeah, like we have a lot of money. Let's make sure it's reliable. 99% is a bit overboard, though. I think we can... I think we can cheap out on that just a little bit, okay? Uh, and then upgrade only has one point, I guess. Um, oh, Saturn V doesn't have upgrade points. Well... If I want to get upgrade points, I can always shift it to this one. It's only... It's, it's actually quicker to build. And then I get even more upgrade points if I go with the boosters. 
This is quicker to build. I'll take this. I'll take the SLS black. Yeah. And then the upgrade points, we can put it into upper stage. Yeah. 80% is fine with me. Contractor-wise, we can go with science. We do get science for this, right? Yeah, a lot. Martin Space Works. We'll go with this. Big. This is Salamander. Properly named, I guess. Sal Salamander. Gamma Ray Telescope. It's a telescope. I mean, we could have used the... Couldn't we have just used the shuttle for this? No, you can't use the shuttle for this. All right, well, whatever then. Well, oh, it doesn't it doesn't save it. Yeah, right here. This is what I want. 80, yeah, 2860. Go. All right, cool. And then uh, Saturn Orbiter is next, but we have to also choose new research. And we're going for this one, of course. Yeah. All right, so Saturn Orbiter. Let's go see what's up with Saturn, huh? Mid-course correction. No, we're not going to go to Saturn yet. We're just mid-course. And then we need to pump in the heat. We're going to lose two heat every turn. Okay. I'll go ahead and uh, do this stuff, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, final turn of this. And the only way to get rid of the heat is to add a whole bunch of comms. So we're way over on comms because it's the only thing that adds heat. So that's what the only output we need. Uh, so... We're good on thrust already. We just need to get six more of our uh, data. And we could do that easily just by doing this. And then we just charge a couple of times and uh, we're good to go. It doesn't matter. Here doesn't matter because the satis this is going to be satisfied. So we don't care about the heat this turn. Our satellite gets to just go out there frozen. Done. A little bit of extra science too, because it's awesome. Okay, so what are we doing with this extra mission slot? Can we, we're not ready for that yet. Is that the only thing left? For Mars anyway, it is, yeah. I don't know if there's really any reason to do the Jupiter orbit, but we could plan it, I suppose. The flyby is going to be done. So we get that mission slot. Yeah, we're going to get this mission slot back in five months. We're going to get this one back in three years. So that's a long time. But this one's coming back 12 months to launch. This one's in 12 months. Yeah, so we're kind of we're kind of locked in for a long term without this. So maybe we will go to the Jupiter one. I mean, we don't have it yet. We might as well, I guess. We didn't even do the Jupiter flyby. But we'll do the orbit because... Why not? So this is Galileo. We'll pay the extra because it doesn't cost that much more. Get the extra power. So let's go. And then we'll just go to the next phase. Karin has retired. Will no longer be available for missions. GG. Karin. GG. Galactic Black Hole Study Proposal. A team of researchers have proposed using your space telescope launched in the X-ray telescope mission to perform a dedicated study of black holes at the center of nearby galaxies to learn more about their properties and prevalence. The project will require funding, but has a chance to produce additional science. Yeah, okay. Good. Positive or negative results. It'll have positive or negative results, and they'll tell me in a little bit. Like six months. So that's good. We might have spent 400 grand for negative results. Won't that be good? Okay. Send lander research is complete. We just got to get our payload all done. And now it's time for Pluto. You ready? I don't know if you guys have seen Pluto before. I know some of you have played the game, so you have. But... This is a lot of science coming in because the bonus is also coming in too, right? That's a big deal. We've held out on this extra science that we can transmit until right now. So 20, 45 each for the bonus. Nice. But it's six and six. 
and it looks like heat gets zeroed out regardless of what we do it will get zeroed at the end of the turn so we don't have to worry about pumping heat necessarily that's good um it looks like a lot of the stuff we can do actually takes heat away <laughs> that sucks okay thanks game you're the best uh ha, okay well let's get a bunch of these because we can and I think we'll take the heat away to get a bunch more of those. Bop the heat back up, although it doesn't really matter that much. Actually, why don't we just... Yeah, yeah, why don't we just make sure it's on one? One is fine. And then we'll get five more of these. Okay, we're off to a decent start with data. Yeah. We technically need to get more comms at some point. Seven times six, 42. Not going to work. But this is going to get zeroed, which... Is okay with me. It just means I need to keep it above. That's it. Just keep it above zero every turn. Big deal. We have decent reliability on this craft too. Say this right as it's doing this. Um, you know what? I might need the power for these oncoming turns. I'm going to go ahead and let that one go. If it's only going to rob me of one resource, I'm fine. And then it's going to give me back two. Perfect. All right. Because you zero it out back to zero. Five more turns of this nonsense, okay? <laughs> Let's go. Uh, we're going to go here. We're going to get a bunch of comms this turn. I think we get a whole lot of comms this turn, honestly. Yeah, big comms turn. Huge communications turn. And then we can hit this one over and over again if we want to get more of those. Or we could say, hey, we got enough comms this turn. Maybe we get a little bit more data. I you know what? I think we probably should do that. Let's get a little bit more data. Okay. That was a big comms turn, though. We needed it. We'll just zip these, zip, zip through these. And what's you going to cost me? One comms? We're good. You're going to give it back to me for the bonus. Nice. All right. That's a decent turn. A little light, a little light on data, but we made up for it with, like, heavy comms. So, uh, now, let's bump you up twice we'll do this one just to get the heat off of us and then we're gonna hit you a couple of times and let's use our remaining power no i think we have to charge here but i'm so close let's count on not let's count on not having to resist this turn and get greedy no resistance <laughs> Damn it. Greed! So much greed. That cost me two as well. Like, that's. It's basically the output of an entire turn. Or an entire command. Alright, three turns, and I got 20 comms to make up. Ouch. Now I'm gonna have even more because I'm gonna spend them. I need power. Let's, let's charge this twice. Yep. And then uh, we'll go here and then here twice. No, not there. There. And then uh, I think we'll have to get more comms this turn too. So we're going to charge a couple of times. We won't be able to resist this again. But at least we're within... We're less than 10 away from each of these resources now. But again, we cannot, we cannot resist. It's going to have to count... Count on our awesome reliability to take us where we need to go. Do it big. Love it. No resistance is needed there. Okay, last turn where heat's, where heat's important. So we can hit you and then hit you and then hit you. Um, and then actually I can hit you again, but... Um, I think I need to charge at least once. Do I need to, though? Do I, though? Really? I don't know. Greed is a thing. I mean, hang on. I think you need to keep it below three. So it doesn't go too hot. We're going to have to pull this back, actually. Yeah, I need to pull it back, unfortunately. Now we're at one. This is where we want to be anyway. Look at this. This is basically spot on so next turn we just get it next turn we just win no resistance so we're gonna 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is not good. What happened? What just happened? You're going to cost me too many. I can't do this action now. What does that mean for me? Guys, what does that mean? Is this... I think that means we fail. Unless... Unless we get bonus data. If we can get some bonus data, I think we then we can win. Oh, man. We might get a win here, actually. That would be clutch. Oh, that would be so clutch. I think we might. No, we're not. No, we're not. Darn it. We could have won. If we had done this, the heat would have hit this, and that would have got us the win on this. Oh, that's crazy to think about. Oh my gosh, we almost got the bonus on that. That sucks. Oh, we were so close. We were so close. I, I realize we get the achievement, but <laughs> I wanted the bonus. Oh, <laughs> uh, whatever. You know, we get a huge bonus from this though, right? I mean, what about the sending the extra data thing? And also, let's not forget that we also just got what about the credit for the flyby huh i thought you'd get credit for the flyby by doing it what happened to that huh i thought people told me you get credit for it are you guys speaking out of your butts again huh you telling me things without any experience huh what's this Transmission received. Scientists working on your mission, the Grand Tour, have initiated a transmission from the payload, receiving an immense amount of additional data accumulated over the course of the mission. This will keep us going for years, an excited researcher commented. 6,000 additional science. And it looks like we do not get credit for the Pluto flyby. So I'm thinking all the people who were like, you know, you should have done the missions for the flyby and then your Grand Tour could cover it. I think you're full of crap because it doesn't work. Okay. Just saying. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it the way it is, not the way I want it to be. And it looks like it doesn't work. Uh, Centaur D plus. Yeah, not you. This will be okay. And we get two upgrade points. We'll do it in this. And then we do back to Martin Space Works. And that's our craft, the salamander, once, once more into the breach, my good friend. Huh? What's up with that, huh? It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't happen. <laughs> there you go. Now you know. Now you know. You need a separate mission for these in order for them to count. Unless Pluto's the only one where that doesn't work. You would do that, wouldn't you, Pluto? It's payback for taking you off the official planets list, isn't it? Woo! CMB mapping. Check out the science on this guy. Mission to map the cosmic microwave background, the residual radiation left over from the Big Bang. Studying the CMB will grant crucial insight into the history and formation of the universe. Hello. This is Sheldon's mission. We're going to call this one the Sheldon. If I remember to call it the Sheldon, we'll call it the Sheldon. 93%. Still average with 93. I think it's because of this. These aren't done yet. Uh, which is coming up shortly here, actually. There you go. Speaking of the devil. Speak of. Speaking of, that's a real that's a real weird way to say that sentence, isn't it? Speaking of the devil. <laughs> Mars. Yep, we're ready to go with this one. And now we can do this one. And nobody's even close. We're just, we're so far ahead. Nobody's even remotely close to us. Crude Mars landing, research, or do we do buildings? Yeah, right. Uh, we should do the Atlas. We might need the boosters, so let's let's just do those anyway. Black hole study inconclusive. Great. Thanks for my four hundred thousand dollars. You have no results. Should have known. Damn string theory. A recently approved proposal to study black holes at the center of nearby galaxies using your space telescope 
has ended in disappointment after the obtained data proved inconclusive. However, data is data, as one scientist remarked, meaning that at least no science was lost due to the project. Oh, good. So, all that was lost is my money and time. Thanks. That's good. Now we're on tier 20. We need to get to 160,000 support. Wow. That's a lot. That is a lot. All right. So, I think by doing the extra research also. No! Jane Donato. She'll be retiring and not going to Mars. You had a good career and you retired just a couple of years before we went to Mars. How could you? You couldn't stay on just a moment longer. She's like, I've done my part. It's time for these young kids to, to do theirs. <laughs> time for you guys to get off your asses and do something for a change. All right, well, two times the Atlas is done. There's our launch reliability bonus. Very nice. And like, that's all the vehicles. That's it. We got all the vehicles all done. Buildings, I don't really care, to be honest, to get all the buildings. But the missions, we're getting all of those, although we're not going to do all of them. We are getting all of them. Mission, crude Mars. Let's go. Salamander is going to be complete. With our gamma ray telescope. I love how our launch reliability gets to go up because we didn't already have 100% anyway. 97 on this now. That's pretty good. This is our Mars uh, engine and habitat. Cool. Let's rock this one and then we'll uh, we'll call it a day on the video. Because this one is going to take a little bit of time at least. Let's go. Although we probably won't go directly to Mars with this one, right? This is, it's going to be a bit. We have lift off. Hey, in the comments for this video, if you, if you hear the comments or if you can hear me over this loud roaring engine. Uh, I got a question for you. Once the Mars craze is over with on the channel, we're playing three games right now that have to do with Mars. So I'm calling it the Mars craze. Oh, 98% and all you're giving me is a lousy nav on the first task. Thanks. When the Mars craze is over with, I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you like three games to choose from. Uh, maybe four games. We'll go four games to choose from. Which of the four would you rather see replace Mars Horizon when Mars Horizon concludes? Okay. We got Frostpunk. We got Tropico 6. We got Timberborn. And we've got Sky Haven. And you can look those up if you uh, need more information on them. You can just look them up. Which one of those sounds most interesting to you uh, as a series to complete on the channel? These are all four games I've never played on the channel before. Uh, asterisk on Frostpunk. Long time ago, pre-release. So there's that. But before that, after that, though, I haven't done anything with it. So uh, let me know what you think. Skyhaven's brand new. Timberborn's still in closed beta. And, uh, you know, obviously Frostpunk has been out for a while and it's matured and it's got lots of DLC and all that stuff now. And then, of course, Tropico 6, exactly the same thing. It's been out for a while. It's matured. It's got lots of DLC. I've got them all, and I, I want to I wanna play them, but I don't know which one to do first, so you can help me out with that decision. Okay, well, this telescope is not a Mars mission, right? No, this is a prep. This is the prep. It is. So we will continue on with prep. And uh, we'll start by bringing it back, and then bringing it forward, and then bringing it back, and then bringing it back. And that's a good first turn. We got a whole bunch of nav for that. Uh, wow. All right, I'll resist that. Two. If it's two of a resource, I usually will hit OK on it. But I, uh, that's come to bite me. Just in this video alone, that's come to bite me twice, I think. So uh, maybe not. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Charge a couple of times, hit this a couple of times. Is that the best uses of my turn? What if I was to do this instead? No, I think that's worse. Pretty sure I just want to do this. Yeah. Charge a couple of times and then get some comms. Right, you moved it a little bit. Are you moving it on me, huh? 
Uh, let's bring it back and then get that and get that. That's decent. That'll work. Extra comms are nice. Be nice to me. Very nice. Okay, zeroed it out. Perfect. We'll get this, then this, then this, uh, then this. Now we need to, we're just going to hit this one next turn and we push it right into zero. That's cool. I like that. Can't resist anything, so we're going to lose one nav here. And we're solid. Okay, so now we're going to bump it up there. And we can bring it back by one with power doing like this. And now we're only one nav away from victory here. Cool. Well, I mean, we're going to get victory anyway, but you know what I mean. Like, we want that bonus, so. Worth a lot of science. Uh, we just hit... I think we just pay for it. But I don't want to bring it back, though. So I'm going to have to do it like this. Yeah. And then we just... Resist it once if we have to. Cool. Let's rock. Perfect. Okay. Getting 25% bonus. What are you doing? Cool. Just locking yourself into position, huh? Nice. The hab is set up in orbit. Achieve Earth Orbit. Wait, you're docking to something before you're in orbit? That's pretty flashy. Uh, order of operations there, guys. I don't think that's something you would do. Um, Mars Horizon team. Science space buffs, help me out here. They're docking before they're in orbit. They have a suborbital trajectory while they're docking. That's... Uh, that doesn't happen, right? Um, am I wrong on that? <laughs> I don't think that happens. Anyways, uh, we're going to get something here. Let's uh, bring it forward by five, and then we'll bring it back one. Why do I think this is a bad turn? We have almost one third of our nav, and we have six turns. That's not that bad. This thing's going to move by... Potentially by three. So I need to keep this thing as close to the center as possible on each of these turns. Bonus comms is pretty cool. Okay, so it's moving it back two. We'll bump it up by five, but... Gosh, getting getting data is hard, actually, here. Um, we'll do something like this. And then if we bring it back like this, we lock it right in the center... And we have two-thirds of our comms for this. Okay, this is good. I think we're out of power now, though, aren't we? I think I need to take a recharge turn here. It only brought it back one. Cool. Uh, I think we will recharge here. But uh, first, we're going to make sure that we're doing our, our duty. Actually, you know... We take a chance on this. If it moves it back, then it's like we got a lot to catch up on. But we have time to catch up too. If it moves it that way, then we're then we're solid. And then we just focus on comms the rest of the day. I like it. Can't resist anything. It's giving us lots of turns, so kind of whatever. All right, so. We're going to bump it up by five. We'll hit here. Hit the power. And we're one away on both of it. We, we just hit this next turn and we win. But no, well, no, because it'll take away a nav. Unless we get the bonus here. But that won't matter at all because we won't be lined up. We'll have to go through another turn regardless. And that means it might fluctuate. Unless we lock it in. We'll have to hit this one to get it right on the, right on the money. Which will be fine. Because once we hit this, 
it'll move it back and give us enough of this overage to hit this which will compensate us for that missing one and we'll be good yeah that's, that's fine this will work let's go assuming of course that doesn't happen i don't want it to cost me two i'll go ahead and resist that one assuming of course this doesn't move a huge amount oh it's gonna lock it right down nice that's 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 pretty nice thank you thank you for doing that um we're just gonna go like this and then like this yep assuming there's no resistance required we're good to go we won't even have to worry about the drift nice bonus got it so you docked in a suborbital trajectory then got orbit fair enough engine and habitat okay oh i see you're a module for the crew to be in on their way to mars i see so you're not going to mars right now that's all done then very cool this is completed so send lander that's it that will probably dock to this and then our experience is almost 100 percent now china is 41 percent. this is awesome we've wrecked their heads man we kicked their ass that's the proper term actually proper terminologies only plan the mission for sending a lander that looks the that looks pretty badass no configuration possible 71 percent. oh boy all right go sucking down my money man and then gamma ray telescope's gonna get ready if we train it let's go science training should we 76 percent though uh, greed 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 lots of greed so much greed i don't even really need the greed i mean we're gonna get the mission either way so nasa winning race to mars several news websites have reported on your agency successfully completing the mars uh engine and habitat mission the presiding opinion on social media appears to be that nasa are now ahead in the race to the red planet however russia have publicly questioned the latter opinion this mission is only one rung in a very high ladder one we will climb long before NASA. <laughs> Refute it. That's right. Your agency has publicly refuted Russia's comments. This mission, has this mission has proved our capability and commitment to getting to Mars. The first human to step foot on the, on the planet will be NASA astronauts, not Russia's. There has been a surge of support in your agency on social media after the response. Yeah, good. And that this is it though. These two are it. 12,000 science and 10,000 science. And uh, yeah, we've got greed going for that big mission. That's That one mission, science output, pays for the entire crew to go to Mars. <laughs> the science output is insane on that mission. Uh, it actually, I think it pays for everything. Because with the bonus, assuming we get the bonus, not guaranteed, of course, but assuming we get that 50% bonus, that leaves that mission at about 15,000 science, which is pretty much all I need to get the rest of what I need, like, in the mission tree. So, cool. Uh, what are you again? Oh, this this is the mission. Oh, yeah, right here. This one. Assuming we get the bonus, then it's like 15,000 science. So, uh, you're not going to let me use... Ooh, we can use Formidable. I like Formidable. It's not super cheap, but it's the only rocket we can use, I guess. We'd lose the upgrade points if we went to that, so let's not. And then for the Contractor, we can just... Oh, oh we just bump it up even more. Yeah, you know it. Yeah, although, if we let it go 16 months, then the science won't matter, right? If we really care about going to Mars first... And using this science to go there, then the launch time matters more. And actually, support doesn't matter at all. We could lower the costs. But if I wanted to make it a faster 
I want it to, to launch faster. Which one is it? Right here. Yeah, nine months. We could do this one instead. We just lose some support, but it, it won't matter. Like, support doesn't matter right now. So, we'll go with a... We'll go with a nine-month build. Seems good. Okay. Well, Salamander's going to complete. There's a lot of things happening right now. Completing. This is our Jupiter Orbiter, which... I don't even know if we're going to get to it before we go to Mars at this point. <laughs> uh, but we'll take payload training here because it's really low. And uh, we'll train it. We'll launch the same day the ESA does. There you go. 86% go okay i'm gonna leave this video here this is where this is this is where i leave you okay but look at this we're 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 going saturn orbit in a year and 11 months we're probably gonna see that jupiter orbit probably won't even see it because we're gonna get to mars soon um and i'm ending this series once we land on mars that's that's where i want to go i don't necessarily care about the other milestones um Sending lander is going to happen in six months. And uh, the CMB mapping is going to pay for it. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Love your faces. And I leave you with this only. Rival Agency offers payload upgrade. Russia is going to help our payload of our crews, of our Mars crewed lander. Because apparently they think they know something about. They know something about Mars, apparently. But you know what? Since it's 71% and they want to improve it by 10%, I'm going to accept it. Because I, I want to... They're just helping me beat them. So, there you go. Now we have 81% reliability in our Mars lander. Awesome. Take care, guys. See ya. Bye.